Hello. 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 And welcome to my 15th video. Woo! I've been doing this a bit over a year now because my first video was September, I think, last year. So because I upload this almost every Wednesday, that makes pretty much a year for 50 videos. Woohoo! I skipped a couple of weeks, but I usually have a video for every Wednesday. So when I had 150 subscribers, you asked for a room tour, and now that I have almost 2000, here we go! And I'm first gonna talk a bit about why I'm showing you only a room, which is my room, even though I don't live with my parents. I live with my partner, we've been together for over four years now, and <clears throat> I kind of ended up having <laughs> this room, he's okay with it, but first this was a kind of rec room, we had our Mm, this huge thing for our TVs. We have two TVs and seven or eight consoles, so it was huge and we had a couch and this room was way too full <laughs> because I also had my bookshelves and sewing things in here. So every time we've moved things around in our apartment, we've ended up moving those to the living room and this kind of ended up only having my things in it, so this became my room. But he's okay with it because he gets the balcony for his stuff as well as the walk-in closet that we can't use as a closet. So it's full of his tools and manly things. <laughs> things for cars. And if you hear a weird squeaky... That is not a bird, that is Oliver with his toy. I may have to take it away so that I can film this. But anyway! This is my room. I won't show you the rest of the house because it is pretty much as non-Lolita as a house can be. I mean, we have white walls, but every single piece of furniture or fabric of everything is either red or black or red and black. Except the floor rug, which has also some white in it, but it's, the rest of it is red and black, so... I won't be showing you that one. It's a punk rock gamer came, so no. But without further ado, here is my room. And I'm also going to go ahead and start by saying that I will... Oh. Hello! Oh. Yes! I wear these kind of socks inside because under us is this kind of cold storage area for your potatoes and preserves and such. So during the summer the floor is nice and cool and during the winter it is cold. So my not mother-in-law, stepmother makes these kind of quirky socks so I use them. Huh? Here is Oliver and you're going to see some awkward cuts because when I focus, the camera makes a sound like this. And it's annoying, so I'm gonna cut those out. So if there are weird cuts, now you know why. So in here, we have my posters that you have already seen. And here is... Ah, I hopped on the table. Here I have my shirts and blouses, as well as my rocking horses because I have way too many shoes and the hole is full of them. And here I also keep skirts. This one has my handmade skirts. I'm gonna show you. As well as my pants. I have three pairs of pants. And you've... he's hunting. And you've seen the tutorial for this and this skirt, and I really love this one. And a tutorial for this, and a purple and black one, and a blue one, and some black and white ones, and something that I use more seldomly. And a cat who is leaning on me. Okay, don't fall, don't fall. And here, besides the cat, is my sewing table. 
my overlocker or serger and my sewing machine that I got for a graduation present, my box with things and my speakers because I love listening to music so I wanted really good speakers. I usually listen from my mp3 player or I hook my phone to it. This is a new hat that I got for about a dollar from eBay and it's there because I'm thinking what I'm going to do with it. Okay, have fun. And this will be a skirt. There will hopefully be a tutorial for this one soon but it doesn't look like a skirt now but it will be. This is where I keep my pin cushions and scissors and measuring tapes and everything and now it also has a pair of socks. My table cover for when I hot glue stuff. Oh, and I made this. It's a little tweety bird because Halloween doesn't exist here in Finland for the most part so I'm already hyped up for Christmas. It says Merry Christmas in Finnish. So I'm going to straighten it out and then I have to find a frame for it. But this is my sewing station and under it, when I move my chair, are most of my fabrics and clothes that I'm going to improve. That thing is full of fabrics as well, so I have a lot. And these are my more seldomly used. Here I have the power things for the serger and my camera battery. And here is his squeaky toy and my chair. Although, as you may notice, it is not a chair. It's actually an IKEA coffee table because, fun fact, I have scoliosis, which I'm gonna take the tripod. So I have scoliosis and that basically means that the lower part of my back of my spine goes all like, it's all messed up. So I can't bend my lower back, but my I also have joints that move way too much. So the rest of my back moves too much. So my muscles don't know where my back should be because it's all like bleh. And I also have a very weak heart, so if I sit normally, like with my feet on the floor, my heart can't pump the blood up, so within around 20 minutes my feet begin to hurt because they're full of blood and I get fainty because my head doesn't have blood. So I usually like to sit so that I have my feet up and I can't lean on a hard back because my spine is also very, I don't want to say protruding, what's the word? Well, you can feel the bumps on my spine, so if I lean onto something heavy, I get bruises on my spine. So chairs are hard. <laughs> so that is why I sit on an IKEA coffee table that you have seen in my unboxing. So if you wondered why, this is why. And the most annoying thing about my joints moving too much is that I can't sprain anything so it will either dislocate or shatter. So for example I have dislocated my right knee so many times that if I crouch down last month it popped out and it really hurts to pop back in and then I can't move it for a while because it feels like it's gonna pop back out again and it really hurts. So, sitting hard. My computer chair is this really big and comfy and cushioned chair that I can kind of get in a fetal position in and then I can play games on the computer for hours. But that is why I have a table as a chair. And moving on. The rug is also from Ikea. Here is my Kuroshiji poster. Well, it's not a poster, 
but it was so big I didn't realize how big it was so I had to put it on my window and the curtains are a bit funny now because I tried to get the right amount of light in and it was really hard to find this kind of one because most of them have this girl shield or he's blushing or they're embracing each other and I don't ship it so I was really happy when I found this one and behind my table is my couch where I love to read or if I have to hand sew anything I do it in here unless I'm filming it then I can't then I have to be at a table but this is a small couch that I'm very much in love with in love with and here are my wigs. I keep my hats there as well and I'm planning on making an other shelf right next to it so that I can put more of my wigs there because right now I have four wigs that can't go in there. And they are currently two of them are back here you can see a bit of silver. And here are some of my mini hats and berets and hair accessories. And here are the skirts that I have bought. So we have surface bell, restyle, lady sloth, lady sloth of brand, and bodyline, baby, fan plus friend, and of brand, and some seldom used things. And here I also, ouch, my knees. Here I also have my boy style shoes, though you can't see them very well, I keep them down there. And here are my purses for Lolita. It's a mess, <laughs> I know, but there are so many that I can put them prettily anywhere. And here are my dresses we have. I'm gonna show the prints. I have bodyline. Bodyline, Alice and the Pirates, Bodyline, Fan Plus Friend, Metamorphose, I don't ha know how to pronounce that, Infanta, Handmade, Surface Spell, Juliette et Justine, again, no idea how to pronounce that, Fan Plus Friend, Handmade, Handmade, Innocent world and a surprise dress that you can see next week. And next to my wardrobe is my bookshelf. I'm gonna leave this for last because I want to rant. And here are also my board games because I love games. And here I keep my hair bows, hair roses, some headbands and this thing that I made and here are some random hair accessories that don't fit into these categories and Shingeki no Kyojin Attack on Titan massive poster and here is my anime and manga and all that kind of stuff so from the top, we have Akira, which was okay. I'm not too fond of it, but it was okay. Some lychee flavored Ramune, Hagane no Renkin Chichi, or Full Metal Alchemist, which I love. More Full Metal and Spirited Away. Here are my nerdy jewelry. From all kinds of things, there's Death Note and Lord of the Rings and Black Butler and more full metal because I have all of them. Here is another Ramune and Shingeki thingy. Here is the original full metal series and Shambhala. I don't have Brotherhood, I have this one though I like both. Here are my black butlers. I have cards and the rings. 
Naruto Gara is my favorite. And more Gara and Naruto and Yatsuba. She's adorable. Absolutely adorable. And I have no idea how to pronounce this. Les I don't know. But it was one of the first manga or manhua that I ever read. So nostalgia reasons I have to have them. And here are some Kira magazines and photos because I take photos of every con or convention that I go to. And then woohoo! Woohoo! Tada! I don't have the newest ones because I just ordered them. Ah, oh, this is hard with one hand. Okay. Okay. But I really love developing photos and looking at them later. And this box. I keep all kinds of tickets, movie tickets, entry thingies. So, yay! And that was my manga. And I try not to buy manga because as you can see I have a lot of books so if I buy both manga and books I will run out of space and money so I have decided to buy books instead of manga and here I am again Hi. as for my other than Lolita wardrobe somebody asked about it and here I have my t-shirt and long sleeved shirts. As you can see, it has pretty much the same color palette as, oh, tripod is in the way, as my Lolita wardrobe. You can see similar colors. <laughs> and down there I have my hoodies because I really absolutely love hoodies. I have to have many of them. And down here are my non the bags and belts and it's a mess. So here are my shirts. And my pants are in those two doors. And here I have my delicates and things like that so I won't show those. And here are my cats. My cat cards. And one of you sent this to me, you know who you are. Thank you, it's awesome. You can send cat postcards to me if you want to. And a fox, because I love foxes. And hello Oliver, you found your toy. Here is Naruto. And Harry Potter. Because Philosopher's Stone got an illustrated version here in Finland. So... I got a poster for it. And then, lastly, I am going to show you my bookshelf. Story time. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. I usually had zero to two friends. So I was... I had a lot of spare time by myself. So I read a lot of books and books became my friends and now I have a lot of books. So <laughs> it's... I've always been a collector at heart, and now I'm collecting books. Mostly fantasy, as you will see. So, let's go ahead and show you some of my books. And I could do a whole video about books, but I won't, because most of you won't care to hear it. But up there... Girded by Dragons, I have my Mistborn trilogy and Shakespearean Star Wars. It is absolutely amazing, you should read it. And I got this ah, hairspray and some punk headbands. I got this from my sister because she is awesome. And here are some of my paperbacks. Almost all of them are fantasy. And here are my Harry Potters. I am currently reading one at work 
because we can only have break one at a time so I always read during my breaks and this shelf is for Robin Hop only because she is my favorite author and here we have all the adventures of Fitz and Fool and I really love them I just finished reading Fool's Quest and I can't wait for the third part and here are the or is the only pink thing that I own because I collect foreign coins my dad collects different kind of euros but I think that's a bit boring so I collect currency from da -da -da. I have all over I have American money and European money and some Russian money and yeah that is a thing and here we have two layers of books because I can't have I don't have the space so here we have Sir Terry Pratchett who sadly won't be writing anymore we have Stravaganza and Cornelia Funk I don't know how to pronounce that and second book by Loc Lamora it wasn't so good so it's back there Eragon and all kinds of Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Tolkien. And here is more fantasy. We have Eddings. I really love Altalus. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. I really loved the first one. And the third is, so far, I'm almost to the end. So far really good, but I, I'm feeling kind of meh for the second one. Here we have The Witcher, the books that inspired the games. Earthsea and his Dark Materials, which I absolutely love. And here is Call of Cthulhu and Caroline. And back there is more fantasy and some detective stories, murder mysteries, and all that kind of thing. So, these are non-fantasy. And can you guess who I like as writers? I have almost full shelf for Wes and Hickman. I don't know how to pronounce that again. And I really love the Death Gate cycle. But, oh, it bothers my slightly OCD mind that the covers don't match. And there's only one print of these in Finnish and they don't match. Who? Who decided this? And... Bartimus trilogy, I think it's in English. And, ah, huh, old glasses. And some Kalevala-based fantasy. And here is my sci-fi. I haven't read the Maze Runners yet, but I ha I'm currently reading the 13th Reality from the same guy and I'm really loving these, so I have high hopes for those. And here we have Douglas Adams, some short stories. I know it's a dark corner and you can't see, but here are my sci-fi things we have star wars and remnants and i want these i mean i read these as a kid and no they are not good but i still want them i want them all and i only have seven and i can't find them either in finnish or english and as you by the way might have noticed i think i have more english than finnish in my bookshelf right now and here is my shelf for Stephen King. The first book I ever read in English was by Stephen King, but I can't remember which one it was. And that makes me kind of sad. So here we have all, or not all, but these are all his books in both English and Finnish. And I like his older work more, but Doctor Sleep was really good of his newer books. 
and this shelf is full so I can't buy any more or then I have to expand to another shelf which is annoying so I haven't bought anything new from him since Joyland which was months ago and I haven't I don't have an answer for yet as to what I'm going to do but it hurts it's hurt it hurts being so OCD so pretty much everything in there is fantasy and here I have my non-fantasy or non-fiction I have my books about Japanese language Japanese culture and North Korea and China, ancient Rome, ghosts, women in the Italian mafia, and awful things. And here I have sewing and drawing books, Stephen Fry, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, I love him. By the way, behind all of these books are VHS tapes. Behind all of these books and Half of them are Moomins and almost all of the rest are old Schwarzenegger <laughs> VHS because I love him. And here is my Western comic books which also go under the category don't buy because you will keep buying and buying them. But I really love V for Vendetta so I have this one and Neil Gaiman because because Neil Gaiman, it Gaiman, it doesn't, it doesn't require any more reasoning. So we have my anime and accessories, books and games, Lolita, Wix, couch, table, and shirts, and a Star Wars poster that you haven't seen yet, and all kinds of boxes because he likes to build our gaming computers from scratch and we both are obsessed at keeping boxes so that was pretty much it for this room tour I'm sorry it took forever for me to actually film this and I really tried to give a quick look around because I don't think that most of you would want to listen to me for an hour as I explain everything about why I love this and why I own this and all that kind of stuff, especially my bookshelf. I try to skim over it as quickly as I can and move on. And that was it for my room tour. It's not very Lolita, but I'm not a lifestyle Lolita, so that is to be expected and rest of the house is even worse. But that was it for this week. And thank you all for subscribing and you can always leave requests for silly videos or tutorials or if you have any questions feel free to ask them. And next week you're going to see a dress unboxing because I unboxed it two days ago but I wanted this video to be the 15th so I have that one ready waiting for you and then I will soon soon make the skirt that it's been over a month at my desk because I've been doing needlepoint and cro crochet so those have been my crafts of the last few weeks so and I'm staring at Oliver so anyway I will see you again next Wednesday bye